With the long complicated history of Mortal Kombat, it's time to take a new approach to the Mortal Kombat storytelling. This is something that Marvel Comics realized years ago when they started a What If comic book series that eventually branched out into the What If animated show. And with some fan suggestions, I'd like to do something similar to that on the channel here, where I'm gonna be talking about what if scenarios for Mortal Kombat and what would happen in those scenarios. Starting off with episode one, what if Bihan was good? This video idea was suggested by Dereal Buddy over on Discord. You can check the description for our Discord invite link, as well as going and subscribing to his channel down below in the description. I'm super excited to jump into this episode, but if you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave your guys' suggestions for other What If episodes down in the comments. Let's get into it. As a young boy born into the Lin Kuei, Bihan has always been raised as a weapon for his clan. Bihan has spent most of his childhood training on missions, becoming a masterful assassin for his clan. The Grand Master trained him and expected him to follow Lin Kuei orders, being trusted since a very young age to even lead his own missions, whether it be to corrupt or kill people, or conquer places of interest. Even though he had a brother, he never got the chance to grow up with him or love him, for the Grand Master made it Bihan's sole purpose to lead the Lin Kuei one day. After the Grand Master speaks to a mysterious sorcerer, he tasks Bihan with going to the Netherrealm to investigate a possible partnership with a strong sorcerer named Quan Chi. He takes the mission alone since his powers allow him more protection than any other clan member. During his mission investigating the Netherrealm, he stumbles upon an enslaved demonic woman. Bihan draws his dagger but stops. He has never been someone to show hesitation or very much emotion at all. But something about this woman and her appearance spoke to Bihan. The woman had dark, short hair with a white highlighted strip, as well as horns and face markings. The woman tells Bihan her name is Serena and that he cannot trust Quan Chi as he is manipulative and uses his magic to control others in plots to take over the realms. She tells Bihan that she knows of a way to destroy him if she were freed. Bihan spends the next days with the woman in secret, learning about the Netherrealm and their plans, as well as Serena and her past. She tells Bihan about her true demon form and how Quan Chi has forced her to be an assassin for the Netherrealm. Serena also gets Bihan to open up about his own life and his remorse for what he does for his clan. The two relate to each other's history and quickly fall in love, realizing that there is more to their lives than being used by others. They realize they need to escape, but Bihan must first destroy Quan Chi to lift the curse that he has put upon Serena. Quan Chi taps into Serena's mind and sees what they are planning and confronts the two in the Netherrealm for a fight. The two fight for their life, but it's no match for Quan Chi's powers. Quan Chi attempts to force Serena against Bihan, fighting to the death, however Serena's strong emotion for Bihan and their relationship disassociates his magic from her. Quan Chi, realizing he has to take matters into his own hands, shoots magical energy at Bihan, only for Bihan to reflect the magic using a gold amulet that Serena had stolen. Quan Chi lays defeated. Bihan and Serena quickly escape the Netherrealm, and without even telling the Lin Kuei, run away together, far from their history, and into their future, where they live peacefully with a new family. Although Bihan has retired the Sub-Zero title and uniform, he knows that he will always be ready if trouble were to find him again. Meanwhile, the Grand Master of the Lin Kuei assumes Bihan has failed his mission and died in the Netherrealm. However, being met with a sorcerer by the name of Shinnok, he is promised that Bihan's brother, Kui Liang, could have potential in the clan, if the Grand Master promises that the boy become a specter of the Netherrealm. Scorpion. I really hope you guys enjoyed this short little story for Mortal Kombat What If Sub-Zero Bihan was good. I really hope that Mortal Kombat can take 
a lot of inspiration from the fans and some other different ideas for once in their storytelling and do some stuff that we've really never seen before. And that's what I plan to share on this series. So if you guys want to see more what if episodes, make sure to drop a like. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as I'll probably be doing what if series on Insomniac Spider-Man and Arkham Batman as well if this episode does well. If you guys want to leave suggestions for episodes, make sure to drop them in the comments because I really want to know what your guys' ideas for a Mortal Kombat What If storyline could be. There's been other talks, especially on the Discord, which I will link in the description, that we have been talking about for other What If episodes, and I can't wait to share those as well. It's going to be really cool to dive deep into Mortal Kombat with a different storytelling aspect, really taking the aspects of these characters that everyone loves, but kind of twisting them and making new new changes and new versions of these characters on a little YouTube series that I'm making that just has fun with the characters because Mortal Kombat has kind of been stagnant with the story for the past couple years um, and I really want to see what these characters could do if given the opportunity. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like, make sure to comment your guys' thoughts, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have fun, be respectful, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.